Hello ladies and gents, and it's Prash Super here with Prash Super Travels. I'm currently outside of the Astor Hotel here in Blackpool North. And I've just met a lovely couple over there, um, Oliver and Keris. They're just having a little sit down, having a nice um, bottle of Madri and uh, enjoying the weather. They're staying at this hotel called the McGraths or something like that. But me, I'm staying next door. I'm staying at the Astor Hotel. Now the Astor Hotel has been known uh, to be pretty decent actually for the price it's a very good budget hotel from what i've been told but i'll be the judge of that in fact one of my favorite youtubers has actually stayed here and when he reviewed it he said it was fantastic however i still want to find out for myself not only that if he stayed there i want to stay there because he's an amazing youtuber he knows what he's talking about his name is adam's rotten room so just have a look if you see this little um youtube channel adam's rotten rooms type it on youtube and go and check the page out and hit him a subscribe and a like and leave a comment for him let him know that Prash Super recommended uh you to check out his channel even though i should be promoting my own self i'm promoting him as well because as youtubers we are all like one big family we all help each other um anyway the astor hotel the benefit is the fact i've got two days in blackpool but I'm not staying two days. I'm actually going to do one day in Blackpool, one day in Wales. So we're going to go and check out the Astor Hotel now. And this has already been booked a month ago because I came here last month and I realised the booking wasn't the wrong date. And uh, that's not their fault. That's my fault. Um, yeah, booking wasn't the wrong date. So I got here a month early. I had nowhere to stay, but I managed finding a place. That video is on YouTube. Go and have a look at it. I'll actually put it up here or here. Uh, go and check that video out. But um, for now, I can guarantee... I'm very sure today is the day that I have a booking. So without further ado, um, let's go in the Astor. Let's have a look. Is it worth the money? I mean, how much did I pay for it? Right there. I forgot how much I paid for it. So let's just put it over there, okay? That being said, let's go and check out the Astor. Come on. Okay, ladies and gents, room number two here at the Astor Hotel. It's nice and small, it's not too small, but it's okay. It's, I've got enough space to walk around. Nice little TV there. The wires could have been done a bit neatly. I mean, yeah, well, that's okay, I suppose. Just a view of the rubbish. Are they real? No, they're not real. Is their cow clean? Let's have a look. Not really that cloth. Nah, I think I'll uh, leave that. Especially with, like, if you look around it. Yeah, it just needs a good bit of TLC. Now, one thing that surprises me is I booked a single room, and single rooms actually they have a picture showing it has a fridge. Now, all the pictures on booking.com of a, a single room have a picture of a fridge as well. Just have a look at this. And um, it's not just the Dulux rooms that have it, apparently, because I clicked on single rooms on booking.com and Agoda, and it showed up as a picture of the fridge in the room. So it's the same sort of setup, but with the fridge. So I'm curious to find out if I can have a room with the fridge, because that's really, really essential for me. So... Let's go and have a look at the bathroom and let's do a quick bed test and then we'll have a little chat with the gentleman downstairs and see what he can do for us. Oh wow, got quite a lot of uh, shampoo, that's really good and a lot of soap. Oh it smells lovely in here, no wonder. Oh that smells fantastic. And it's clean, yep. Really nice, pretty decent. What's the shower pressure like? Whoa! And it's hot. That's good. That is an amazing shower. These old school ones, they're normally the best. Right, now let's look at the bed. Oh, that is comfortable. That is that bed is so comfortable, and the the bed sheets, um, the cover, the duvet, the the whole bed—it just feels so comfortable. It smells really fresh, 
which is a really good sign but but that's just uh okay clean not bad at all Nice bed, very good. Towels, let's give them a quick smell fresh, brilliant. Yep, we're good. We're back. Where are we? Where are we? Where has it gone? I just seen one. Hold on, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have returned to Pube City. But it is all covered, so it's all good. But that's not bad. One pube in the whole bed. Let's have another look around. Standard heater, not bad. Nice little pictures. I like the yellow colour, it's quite nice. Okay, that needs a bit of work done. So I'll probably put my clothes on top of here or something, maybe. Or on the chair. What I'm going to do now, guys, is um, I'm actually struggling to get the Wi-Fi on here as well. I've got the Wi-Fi password downstairs, but it's not reaching up here. So I'm going to give that another try and let you guys know what I think. But first, I want to go downstairs and ask him if I can have a room with the fridge. Because there is availability and I have paid. So the question is, will he let me have it? We'll find out. Let's go. Wow. He just phoned me and said, there's someone bringing a fridge to your room right now. That is brilliant service. I did not expect that. So guys, I just met a lovely guy called David and he just brought me a fridge in my room. Now, I did record, um, the phone was for recording and I didn't actually realise, but um, the recording was still on. But unfortunately, the microphone was turned off, so um, I couldn't get what he said. But um, I tell you what, he was fantastic. Came in very polite, very nice and humble and said to me, uh, is there any more that I can do to make your stay better, sir? I said, no, this is brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm really enjoying it. You've got a great shower room's clean it's great and i asked him with some fridges they do have a freeze compartment now the other rooms here i've seen on adam's rotten rooms there is a fridge but with a small freezer compartment and that would really benefit me a lot i've asked is there any chance i can have something like that he goes um no problem at all so let me see if i can find one i'm just going to get back to you i said how soon can you get back to me because obviously i need to go out and make content for you guys he goes immediately sir give me a few minutes Honestly, customer service, like the second I walked in, met Vance, really lo lovely guy, and um, also met another customer checking in, and uh, come upstairs, I see a room with no fridge, and he did say there was a fridge in here, he goes, most of the rooms do have fridges, yes sir, but the one that we had in here previously, 
um, we've had some technical difficulties with that. I said, okay, but the fact he's just brought me into the fridge is brilliant. Well done for customer service in this place and cleanliness. Yeah, I can actually lie down now without feeling that any worry of how dirty this bed is because it's not. This bed is clean. Fair enough, there's one pube under the mat, well, on the mattress itself, but this so far is probably one of the best budget hotels I've ever had. Really happy. Can't wait to get my little freezer compartment. That'll help a lot. Yes! Now, there is another kettle there, guys, but I'm not going to use that either. TV works. Yep, all good. It's not a smart TV, nothing like that, and that's fine. I'm not really planning on having a smart TV. Um, I'm not going to use it, but uh, yeah, TV works fine. Now I've got a little fridge, which is nice. Oh, that's cold. That's pretty cold. Yeah, not bad. I was really impressed with the shower. Uh, I've not actually gone for a shower yet, but I was just really impressed with uh, the overall pressure. Here we go. Where's it gone? Here we go. We're back to me now. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge my phone for a little bit, and then while, while I'm waiting for my phone to charge, and then I'm going to have a shower. Then I'm going to head out and get some content done for you guys. That being said, I do hope you've enjoyed this review. If you want to see more reviews like this, straight to the point, um, obviously you guys know some videos I have a little bit of fun as well, but um, I like to get straight to the point in terms of what you guys are getting for your money, which is very important. For this, um, yeah, you know what? This is the first time in a budget hotel that I've actually been really impressed. Customer service is on point. The room is a little bit dated, but that's not a bad thing. It could be upgraded slightly just to make it a little bit more better. But besides that, it's good. I'm okay with it. The bed's comfortable and clean. Shower's clean. Uh, the chair's okay to sit on as well. Um, what more do you want? And it's in a bloody amazing location. Not too far from the Winter Gardens, actually. So, um, And also the tower. Everything's pretty much nearby. So, yeah, I'm impressed. One thing I just wanted to mention, guys, is the Wi-Fi does cut out a little bit. I have to keep searching for it again, and when I do, it's got like one bar, and it's not, it's connecting, and then it goes off. So Wi-Fi definitely needs a little bit of a boost, uh, possibly a stronger range or a range extender, something like that. But I, can, I connected to the Wi-Fi downstairs, it works. Came upstairs, and I've had to log back into it and there's only one bar but i'm just going to go outside and find an internet cafe or just go to a Spoons, use the wi-fi and do my editing there uh that being said besides that um pretty decent